Hi guys, welcome back to Twisted Locker, your definitive horror podcast. Today we're going to be doing our first movie review. We've got 2024's Baghead, directed by Alberto Corda, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, basic, uh, basic premise of the movie, we've got a young woman, played by Freya Allen, who inherits a rundown pub from her late father, and unbeknown to her, holds a dark secret in the basement, a witch that lets you speak to the dead with awful consequences, of course. Jenks, if you want to kick this one off and let us know what you think about this one. Uh, yeah, this 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 film kind of came from nowhere. Uh, it's got a little bit of talk to me about it. Um, I don't think it's a rip-off because I'm guessing they were both in production similar um, similar times. But uh, yes, yeah, that's uh, the girl from Witcher, Freya uh, Allen. I don't re- I don't watch Witcher, but I've, I knew she was familiar. And the setup is really good. Uh, there's no spoilers in this review, just to point things out. But the setup is really good. It's really intriguing. But the execution is a little bit weak. It's I don't know if it's the script or the director, but it just seems a little bit flat. Some of the acting is a little bit flat. Um, you know, there's one scene where, like, I won't give too much away where the girl is kind of having a dream or hallucination and she can see what happened to her father. And there's this, like, yeah, white glow around her, like she's a spirit, but it looks like something from Muppet's Christmas Carol, like, you know, that kind of level of fucking ghost. And I, even my daughter, who I took with me, was like, that still looks a bit naff. And I, I think, yeah, it did look a bit naff. It looked a bit cheap. Because it's not a cheap yeah. film, you know, for a, I don't know if it's a British production or, or um, I'm not really sure, German, because it's set, in, it's set in Berlin. But, you know, the CGI, I don't like CGI, but it, it's 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 Hollywood standard CGI, my point is. Um, but, uh, yes, and a bit of overall, a little bit too much uh, CGI. But those are the negatives. Positives, like I said, it's, a, it's an intriguing idea. Uh, might work better uh, when you, you know, if you put the, the bag head lady comes out, you, she has to swallow something that belongs to a dead person, and you got two minutes uh, for that uh, for her to turn it for for her to turn into that a dead person, and after that, then all hell breaks loose, sort of thing. But that's intriguing. It might work better as maybe like a, an hour episode of an anthology series, so you wouldn't have to yeah. get all the questions answered. Once it's a movie, you start ask have to answer too many questions, and some of the answers are really cheesy and. Goes a little bit flat. What do you think? Yeah, all good points there. Um, on on my end of it, um, we've got the opening. It starts off really good. It sets yeah. it sets the whole tone of the movie and gives you a quick rundown of what you can expect for the rest of the movie. Now, my biggest problem was I didn't really care for the three main leads, so the stakes no. for me were really low. Um, I didn't have that terrible gut feeling. Uh, like when you're rooting for someone that ends up in a sticky situation, like that was out the window, that yeah. was gone. Um, there is a nice bit to like. Uh, the cinematography is amazing. It's got that great dark, grimy British feel. One of the main reasons. One of the main reasons I love British cinema. Now, like you said, I think it's set yeah. in Berlin, but it's it feels like a British production yeah. movie. Um, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it does have a fantastic location as well, um, with the Queen's Head. It's it's it looks great. It's really dark and creepy. I thought that was probably one of the best aspects of the movie, like the location that they're in. Um, now, for obvious reasons, I'm go- I'm going to draw comparisons here uh, to my favorite movie of 2023, and it's Talk to Me. And with this, when you compare very similar movies. It's yeah. really hard to enjoy one when the other one is far superior. Yeah. And I'd say that was Baghead's biggest downfall for me is because I absolutely love Talk To Me and I kind of compared these two movies and Baghead is is far inferior to, to that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of things I loved in this movie were overshadowed by poor and overview CGI. Uh, the wall crawling and the neck. Every, I'm not going to go into too much detail. But for me, in horror especially, any good scare is always overshadowed by the overuse of CGI. Yeah, always. Um, overall, it's not a bad film, but very average, I'd say. Yeah. Um, it didn't really bring the scares, and it's probably probably not going to get a rewatch from me, but it was a fun yeah. film. 
Uh, yeah, I agree with CJ. And it's overuse of that really cliche thing of uh, bones crunching, like the witches go, yeah, and her fingers. And it's like, fuck, you know what? It, they've kind of like got that from The Exorcist, a deleted scene, right? And yeah. the sort of uh, contorted bodies. But I cannot see any more evil creatures popping and clocking. It's just so overused and pathetic. Uh, yeah, not for me. I don't know when it's going to end, but um, that's one of my biggest <laughs> takeaways from any modern yeah, horror movie. Yeah. If you've got like a contortionist and they're clicking and cranking, um, for me anyway, it's an instant put off. Yeah. But there's a lot um, in this film. It's very well made. It's got fantastic cinematography and it's a decent yeah. horror film. There's not really much bad you can say about it. Um, I, I couldn't really yes. pick it apart with plot points or, or decisions or anything like that. It just falls a bit flat towards the end and I found myself clock watching a little bit. But yeah. for me, I'm going to have to give it, it's just about Slither to the free star mark. I can't give it anything less than that because it is a good horror film. It's just bogged down with bad CGI. Um, yeah. and. Do you know as well? There was a, there was a bit in it that it just just fell flat. Like the the friend Katie uh, is in the bar, and she, I think she's reading something about a dead person. And she looks at the bar, and that guy's there as a ghost, and it's quite creepy for like a split second. But he's still there then for a while, and you're thinking, <laughs> "What are you doing? Yeah. It should be a flash." It was quite creepy. It's 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 horror one hundred and one. Don't overuse. Don't overplay your cards. Have a flash, you know. Uh, look at the Predator, for example. Uh, the first Predator, you hardly see him, and it works better, you know, apart from finale, which is fine. And with ghosts or any monsters, look what happened to Freddy Krueger. The more you saw him, yeah. the more diluted he was, the shit that he got. If food don't kill you, the service will. <clears throat> um, so it wasn't the worst film in the world. I would say for any horror fans, Catch it on DVD or streaming, and I give it a just scraped a three stars. Um, yeah. yeah, that's my dick. Just a quick point about the film because this was, was our first uh, a review with Twisted Locker. Uh, I would try to watch it in my hometown, Slackley. Uh, it was sold out somehow, and so I took my daughter with me, which is her first ever horror film with her daddy because she's 14, she wasn't allowed to go. And so it was a big deal for us, like a daddy-daughter thing. We got there, she was all scared. And I sit in there, and I I realised that I hadn't put a parking ticket on my car. And I thought, oh, shit, I'm going to get 30 quid fine. So I said to my daughter, who was hugging me, thinking I'm scared, I said, can you hang on for one second? Uh, I need a pee. And she didn't know that I was running out of the cinema. <laughs> To the car park to get a ticket before I got fined. So and I came back sweating and she said, God, where have you been? Oh, I just uh, took a while. <laughs> if you are I a cheap skit. A fine, <laughs> oh, well, I, sh I may get a fine still, but and it would be about a £35 fine. So this film was not worth 35 quid fine. That's what I'm saying. Yes, <laughs> three stars for me. Just a little anecdote there. There we are. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the review, there'll be many more to come. Uh, and if you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, and a subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.